<laughs> okay, okay. Now, ladies, please get back to work. <laughs> Mr. Aaron is just hilarious. Hmm. Why can't all landlords be like him? Aaron was a charming young man of fortune, loved by all of his household staff, except... April, my caretaker. How are you this morning, milady? Here are your morning medicines, and you have a physiotherapy session in the afternoon today. April was always in a serious mood. Her bitter past had left a deep impact on her, taking away all the reason to be happy. But today, she was all the more disturbed by a phone call she had received last night. Do you always have to be in such a bad mood? The phone conversation was still playing in her head when Aaron needled her, and all her past memories came back to pinch her. April snapped. Someone with an awful lot of money doesn't get to lecture me about my mood or my life. What do you know about life outside your mansion and your luxuries? Everything is at your beck and call. Name it and you have it. What do you know of misery? Then why am I still in a wheelchair? And just like that, reality hit Aaron and April. Aaron had never allowed anyone to take pity on his condition. But today, he let his guard down in front of his caretaker April and finally admitted how he hated being a crippled young man. As for April, she finally realized what a fool she had been. In her bitterness, she could never understand that Aaron's flamboyance was his only way to carry on and live a life of dignity. After all, April was also trying to rebuild her life with dignity after losing all her money and working for the first time in her life to make ends meet. She was now ashamed of her behavior with Aaron. The next morning, for the first time, April was about to greet Aaron with a smile when... Here's your final paycheck. You can collect your things and leave. Will April ever get a second chance to repair her relationship with Aaron and rebuild her life? Having faced reality, will Aaron ever go back to being cheerful? Was this the end of a beautiful love story before it could even begin? To find out, listen to the audiobook Us Before Me, only on the Pocket FM app. Download now.